Have you ever wondered how bright our sun is compared to the rest of the stars? Take Pisces, for example. Pisces is one of the dimmest zodiac constellations next to Cancer. If we took the brightest star in Pisces, Eta Piscium, and put it next to the sun, well, at more than 26 times the size of our sun, we would be toast. Pretty much. Literally. Technically, Eta Piscium is brighter. It's just much, much farther away. Let's draw upon the constellation Pisces to learn more about the night sky. The best time to see Pisces is in November. That's when it will be highest in the sky during the early nighttime hours, somewhere between 9 and 11 p.m., depending on the day, of course. On November 1st, for example, Pisces culminates around midnight. Each day, then, it'll be a little earlier until November 30th, when it'll culminate around 8.30 p.m. Because it's such a faint constellation, Pisces is difficult to see, so you'll want great conditions and a dark sky. Remember, all of the zodiacal constellations are in a straight line that follows this path of the sun. Well, at least, I mean, it's a little arky, but uh, it's, <laughs> I guess it's not a perfect straight line. Um, but they, if you lo look up, they more or less follow in a line. So that's how I know where to look to find the zodiac constellations. For example, since I was looking at Aquarius and Capricornus last month, I know that Pisces will more or less be in the similar area, just a little bit more east than those constellations. It's also helpful to look for the constellation Pegasus because Pisces is nearby it, just a little bit down and to the right. You can't see it in my photograph, but there's an asterism, or a prominent grouping of stars, called the Great Square of Pegasus, and that's near Pisces. Now these four stars are pretty bright and easy to find. Just below the Great Square, look for another asterism forming a faint circle of stars, and this is called the circlet. That's part of Pisces. Because of its recognizable shape, I personally think that this is the easiest part of Pisces to see. However, with patience, I was able to spot all of the other stars indicated by the International Astronomical Union's official Pisces chart. Pisces is Latin plural for fish. The ancient Babylonian mythology around this constellation is not clear. While one possible name for it was the tail of the swallow, it's also thought that it may have represented the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. According to Greek legend, this constellation may have been represented by Aphrodite and her son Eros escaping the monster Typhon by jumping into the river. One story says they turned into two fish to swim away, and another says they were rescued by two fish who were tied together at the tail. Pisces is also a symbol representing Jesus Christ. The birth of Christ coincides with the beginning of the age of Pisces, which we are currently in. Astrological ages are determined by the position of the sun during the spring equinox. This gradually changes as the Earth's axis rotates, very slowly, year after year, but it currently takes place in Pisces. The two fish in Pisces are also reminiscent of the miracle told in the New Testament where Christ feeds the 5,000 people with just two fish and five loaves. The brightest star in Pisces is Eta Piscium, coming in at an apparent magnitude of 3.6 and about 349 light years away. It is a binary star, and its traditional name is Alferg, meaning the emptying. Alpha Piscium is the star connecting the two fish. Its traditional name is Aresha, which is derived from the Arabic word for the cord. It is 309 light years away and also has an apparent magnitude of about 3.6. As far as specific celestial objects to look for, Pisces contains just one Messier object, M74, which is a loosely wound spiral galaxy. It is about 30 million light years away, and it has had a couple known supernova take place in it within the last two decades. There is another spiral galaxy located in Pisces, but it's not in the Messier catalog. It's called NGC 488. NASA took a photo of it that I think is pretty cool, so check this out. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Next time you have a clear night, go outside and see if you can spot Pisces. Um, I hope you have a clear night. It's been pretty cloudy for me lately, so I am eager to see the stars again. Hopefully you can spot them. I wish you clear skies. Have a good day, and remember to smile.